Looking set for a start. The lights begin to flash. And they go racing. Gary Meyer on the inside tried to... Uh, yes, and he does, in fact, get a beautiful run through on the inside of Ken Murray. That was what he was looking for. Neil Hearn got into trouble right in front of Robert Carey and in front of the whole of the tail of the field. Ross, and I think it was with the help of Robert Carey he got oh, into right. trouble. Just a little touch Carey got on him. Down back straight away. So oh, you're right. The Chief Steward has said 16 to the rear. You're having a good night tonight. Which is unusual for you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. But I don't think I'd like to be a Chief, chief Steward somehow. But Carey, number 16, is officially to the rear of the field. There's the restart. Again, Gary Meyer tries to come through on the inside. He did get the run. Neil Hearn went up high on the track. He got a bump with Gary Meyer. Through on the inside goes Russell Bailey. Through on the inside goes Michael Hickey. Oh dear, Russell Bailey straight in front of uh, Michael Hickey. Then Gary Meyer collected him. Ken Murray collected him. And we still haven't completed a race lap. And this time it's car 12 of Russell Bailey who goes to the rear of the field. There's the start again. Now Neil Hearn's got bodywork flapping. Michael Hickey's got bodywork flapping. We still haven't put a lap down in this uh, super sedan race as Greg Hodges now races for the lead and gets it. Ken Murray on the inside holds down second place. I think we're going to get a lap on the scoreboard. Oh, are we? Alan Baker came off the infield, charging down in front of everybody. What caused that, I'm not sure, but Baker suit looked like he came out of the infield and down onto the racetrack. Greg Hodges has grabbed the lead. Second place is Sir Gary Meyer. Now Alan Baker gets through for third. Ken Meyer goes back to fourth. Michael Hickey is fifth. Robert Carrick has worked up to sixth place. Al Starling's had a spin out and trying to get off the racetrack. I don't know whether he can get it restarted. Now the red light comes on as Greg Hodges comes through the corner. So Al Starling was the driver who got into problems and he will now go to the rear. Yep, all on his own. Yep, he went all on his own. So that's the third driver in just two laps to be shown the rear of field sign. First it was Robert Carey, then it was Russell Bailey, and now it's Al Starling. And a single file restart. They move in behind Greg Hodges. 13 laps to go. And the green flag sends them away with Greg Hodges bouncing back into the lead. Gary Meyer in second place, or Ken Murray getting out wide as Michael Hickey powers his way through on the inside. Robert Carrig is miraculously up to fifth place after being sent to the rear of the field two laps ago. So he's uh, picked off about eight cars in two laps. He's really making a move. Peter Garrett goes up onto the infield, tries to uh, keep it together and come back down into the car race and does, but he comes back down in almost last place. Alan Baker putting the work on Gary Meyer to try and get clear of him because he realises he's got to get clear to get out after Greg Hodges. If he gives him too big a break, he won't be able to peg him back. Greg Hodges leads from Gary Meyer, Alan Baker moving up on the outside of Meyer, but that's the hard way round. In fact, he lost round there, lost about 10 metres. Michael Hickey in fourth place, Robert Carey fifth, and a gap back to John Lodge, who, as I said tonight, driving very consistently, very smoothly, slowly but surely starts to pick his way through the field. Down back straight away, past the Hunter Communications timer, and Greg Hodges is the leader followed by Gary Meyer, but I think Greg Hodges, I don't know whether his tyres might be saying to go off or what the case may be. Alan Baker's having another crack at Gary Meyer on the outside, Meyer on the inside, Baker on the outside. Baker tries to hold on that little bit longer. He and Gary Meyer have had a coming together. Michael Hickey threw it sideways. Robert Carrick went up onto the infield. Red light has come on. 
And car 27 of Gary Meyer is going to be sent to the rear of the field for coming straight into the left-hand side of Alan Baker's car. Baker is not happy. Good call, Ross, I think. Meyer, uh, there was no room to come through there on the inside. He uh, was shut out completely. You can see the side of Baker's car, the front left-hand side, has had a fair bit of damage done to the bodywork. Well, that's our fourth driver to the rear of the field. Gary Meyer becomes driver number four. There's the green light and away they go. Greg Hodges, can he hang on? Because Alan Baker is now right behind him and has got seven laps to work away at him. Michael Hickey in third place. Robert Carrick running fourth. John Lodge smoothly up into fifth. And Neil Wasson doing a pretty consistent job of it is in sixth place. Just seven laps away from victory. And Greg Hodges has got a lot to do because he's got Alan Baker, Michael Hickey, Robert Carrick, John Lodge and Neil Wasson not all that far behind. Yes, they're all tightly bunched up the front of the race. Baker got a little bit wide there and Hickey came through on the inside. He tried to get the pass on him. He just couldn't quite get it. Now he moves up on the inside of Baker. Baker just slide down back straight away. Hickey's trying to come through to that second spot. And Hodges is holding on to the race lead. Hodges leads away. Baker now decides to make a move on the outside. He came in very hard underneath. He had to back off there to avoid any collision. That's a good piece of driving by Baker. But that hampered Hickey. And Hickey dropped back to fourth spot. And uh, a caution flag now is going out to the whole field. So Chief Stewart's indicating that he's had enough. And he's uh, put a caution on the whole field. But in the turn they go. A little bit of body work comes off the Baker car. And Baker, try as he may, he just can't get to uh, Hodges to put himself within some sort of striking shot to grab this race lead away from him. Down they come once again with only three laps left to run. Hodges from the camera club, he's got the uh, race lead. Look at them all bunched up behind. It's turning into a uh, one-lane racetrack, so Baker's going to have to try something desperado style. Up high, he moves out of the turn, but that's not the way round. Down main straight away. It's still anyone's race up for grabs. Two laps to go. Baker right up to the bumper now of Hodges. Watch for Baker. He'll start to get desperate and frustrated, and he'll try something. Up on the outside, Carrick's moved up into third spot. One lap to go. Al Starling spun out in turn three, four. Down they go, and it's brought on the red light, believe it or not. Well, bad luck. It was developing to a, uh, a good finish. They only had one lap to go. You'd think they'd declare the race. Well, no, under the racing rules, the steward is pointing out that he has to go back with two laps to go to finish a, uh, a final. What will his tactics be? Looks like he's just going to settle down the first half of this lap. Now he moves up on the outside of Hodges. He's going to run side by side with him and put the pressure on. But he runs the risk of moving out too wide and allowing Carrick to get to him. One more lap to go. Maybe Hodges can hang on. Baker is coming up on the inside. Hodges' car's on the inside. Baker's going to have a go at him on the outside. Oh, he's blown it, Baker. Hodges comes home first. Baker hangs on for second. Then came Carey, followed by Lodge and Hickey. Neil Wasson was next, followed by Bailey. Then came uh, Peter Garrett in front of Gary Meyer and Ken Murray and Al Starling at the rear of the field. So, at long last, the... Super Sedan final comes to an end and the race win goes to Greg Hodges. Ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up our Tetran Engineering Test Match tonight. Congratulations to the Australian team and to you Australian fans.